What's going on guys, Nightmare JP here and I just want to give a quick summary of what you need to do to receive your 50 gems for the 6th anniversary Chopper Man mission, so without further ado, let's talk about it. So this first one is you have to clear the brand new Otoko Fortnite 6 times on any difficulty and you'll receive 5 gems. So you can clear either the 15 stamina one or the 30 stamina one. I haven't did the 15 stamina one, but I did 6 runs on the 30 stamina one and I completed it, obviously, so I got my 5 gems already. The next one is to max Otoko, and Otoko has a max cooldown of 12, so um, using a buggy team, this was the team that I used actually. After a couple of runs, you can get up to like, I had like 20 yeah, I had like 20 skill books and around 20 copies as well. So with that amount of copies, you should be able to max it relatively easily. If not, you can just farm a couple more copies and you should have her done within a couple of runs. So really easy stuff right there. The next one you have to do is play the Raid Silver Mask one time with Toko on your team on any difficulty and you'll receive five gems so she's really good for the stage four against law if you put her in your bottom row in the left column or the right column she'll be really great for that she removes four turns of bind and she also removes the four turn of percent shield that law inflicts on you so she's really great for that stage so i would do that and you will be able to clear a silver mass rate really easily the next one is to play the Silver Mask Rate six times and you'll receive five gems on any difficulty, so really easy stuff there. This one is to max a Silver Mask Special and you'll receive ten gems. I am only two specials off on my Silver Mask, so that's why I haven't received my ten gems yet. But I will be completing it really soon, so you'll, I'll also be getting my ten gems. This one is to play six times on the treasure map that will be coming up on June 10th. So on June 10th we're going to be getting the Zoro treasure map and I assume it will be a really great character. So I would highly recommend to play 6 runs of Zoro. It doesn't matter when you do them but if you play 6 runs you'll be receiving 5 gems which is really nice. And then if you max... oops. And if you max Zoro special, you'll receive additional 10 gems. So, easy gems just for playing Treasure Map and completing these free-to-play characters. So, I hope this cleared up a lot of confusion that some of you guys were having in the comment section. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.